Underneath the glove box, you may have a cover that needs to be removed. There should be some screws. Most of the time, those are seven millimeter screws, so take those out, and then there should be some over closer to the driver's side. Remove that cover. Disconnect the connector over on the blower motor. There's a little tab. You might need a straight blade screwdriver or a pocket screwdriver. Push down on that tab, remove that connector. This connector right here. Remove this connector, just the same. Get under there with a pocket screwdriver if you can't do it with your fingers. Just pull that tab up, disconnect it. There's two screws right here. Use a 5.5 millimeter socket. Remove those screws. And slide the resistor out. When you're ordering this part, double check how many holes you have for the mounting. Some of them have two holes, and if you get the one with two holes by accident, then it's not gonna fit properly. So make sure you order the one that fits your vehicle. So double check this before you order the part. Now slide the new resistor in position. Put the screws back in. Snug these down. Not too tight. That's good. Plug the connector in that goes to the blower motor. Just line it up, lock it in place. That's good. And it's a good idea to replace this connector. You can see this one's badly corroded. So even if it looks good while it's plugged in, you might want to disconnect it and see. A lot of times these wires melt right here or it'll be corroded just like this one. And line the connector up and plug it in. Now at this time, if you have that cover, you're gonna to wanna to reinstall that and put the screws back in.